Monday. I did get into the class for this week, so I'm really lucky because sometimes there's a long wait before you're able to get into a class, and I think I mentioned this in my video last week, but it's because there's a class size restriction due to COVID. So yeah, I was able to get in this week, which is awesome. I don't have to wait long and everything is still pretty much fresh. So I only have to go in for navigation today and the rest of this week. Um, the class that I'm going into, you know, they're all taking FR and R at the same time. And if you watched my video last week, then you would have seen when I was taking navigation the first time, I was also taking FR and R classes. So I pass FR and R. I don't have to go to those classes. So today I'll just go in from one to four. It's a little after 11 right now, so I'll get there and just kind of freshen up a little bit if I need to on today's topics. And then when I get home today, I will basically just do all of that homework again. I've already gone through to try to erase it in my book and I'm just gonna do all of the problems again, but this time focus more on the time. So timing myself to make sure that I can get it within the time span of the exam. And then going off of that, so the navigation exam is two hours versus 50 minutes for the other exams. And it equates to about, I think they said two to three minutes per question. I could, I can get a calculator and do it. Okay, yeah, so 2.4, about two and a half minutes per question. Make sure that I can hit that because there's just no, there's no room for going back and checking your answers, which is something that I've always done when I take exams. I, I will usually finish exams early, not just here, like in college, I would finish exams early, but then I would basically retake the entire exam again to just go through my answers and make sure that they're correct. And I knew that I didn't have the time to do that this time and it just it messed with my head. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen for round two. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of nervous for today just because I don't know anyone. I feel like, I feel like that new kid in school, you know, moves away from their old, old high school, starts a new high school and doesn't know anyone. That's okay, we'll make some friends. So I don't really need to update you on like what the classes are like because I already did that last week, but I will try to update you on how my studying is going to change this week, um, especially because, like I said, I only have to be in the class half the time that everyone else does. All right, I'm going to get to class, but I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm realizing that I say good morning or good afternoon, and you guys could be watching this at any time of the day, but it's morning for me right now, so good morning. So the nap class today is from 8 to 10.30, 8 to 11. And then after that, I just get to go home because I don't have to go to their fr &R class this afternoon. It feels very weird having all this time because before this, you know, you're studying every single day because you have something coming up within a few days, some exam coming up within a few days. So I kind of feel bad for them. They're probably stressing over fr &R right now. I know I was because you have the shortest amount of time to get ready for it. But since I did really well on that one, got a 98 on that, um, I'll see if I can help them out, you know, give them, give them some good advice, some good gouge. All right, guys, I will see you after nab is over and I head home for the day. I am going to get, there's literally no reason for me not to get a good workout in every single day. So I did get a workout in on Monday, got a workout in yesterday. And, you know, I will get a good workout in when I go home today. See you guys later. done with my class for the day. Um, I went in from 1 to 4. That's when the nav class was scheduled. Last night I just was so tired. 
I mean, two nights ago I went to bed a little bit later than usual. But it was like 8.30 last night and my eyes were shutting while I was doing practice problems. So I just decided to go to bed at 9, call it a night. I woke up at 6, did like an hour, hour and a half of nav and some editing. So now I think I'm just going to do some weather tonight, even though the class that I'm with won't start weather until tomorrow. So tomorrow will be like a normal class day for me again because the rest of this week I've just been doing basically like half days because I've only been going to nav. But as I was saying, I'm going to study some weather tonight. There's only so much nav I can do again. I mean, I, I'm doing all of the problems over again, but since it's my second time doing it, I'm much faster with it. So doing some weather is nice to just break up that nav work. Oh, and this breakthrough, it was not freezing cold in the building today. I should have looked at the thermostat, but I didn't. I still wore my jacket. It wasn't like that warm. It was like a comfortable cool enough where like it was keeping me awake, but I wasn't like miserable cold. So whatever they did today, it would be so awesome if they could just keep that setting for the next few weeks. <laughs> However, my car is not as cool, especially because when I put the AC on, it ruins the sound from this microphone. So I'm hot, I'm going to go inside, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Friday though. I feel like I should be more excited because it's Friday. But yeah, it just doesn't feel like Friday. Don't mind me as I'm eating. I'm so hungry right now. I worked out and then I made this. But I didn't have time to eat it at the house. Well, I probably could have had time, but I never know what the traffic is going to be like. So I always leave an hour before my class starts, even though it only takes me like 35 minutes to get here. So we're a little early, but that's okay because I have time to film this. What are we eating? We are eating potatoes, kale, eggs, and chicken sausage. It's delicious. So the first chapter of weather, which I read a couple weeks ago. Not not that bad. Got through it. It was fine. Second chapter, mm, that was a little bit rough. Third chapter, which I read last night, incredibly painful and dry. I had to stop like every five pages because it was just... <sighs> so that's how that went last night. I was actually excited to be done with that and be able to do some nav questions after that. So, if that tells you how dry this weather book is, and it's weird because I honestly thought that weather was going to be the most interesting class, which I think it will. It's just, it's just the book is so dry. So that's what I did last night. I did not finish the weather book last night. The weather book is four chapters. I only read chapter three because I just, I could not handle it. So this morning I woke up at six and finished the weather book. I read chapter four and then I worked out and now I'm here eating in my car. So class today is, weather is 11.30 to, um, and then nav is 1.30 to four. 
So, another long Friday, but what you gonna do? So, after class, I will finish up the rest of the nav problems that I have left. So then, this weekend, the only nav stuff I will be working on are flight logs. And flight logs are basically just putting every piece that we've learned from NAV so far, putting it all together. So that's like the best practice you can get. There's only 10 questions for flight log stuff on the exam. 50 questions total, 10 flight log. But like I said, it's encompassing everything that we've done so far. So it really is just the best way to practice because you get a little bit of work on everything. You saw that I got my GoPro. So I'm not filming on it right now because I want to make sure I actually like the footage before I use it for like vlogging. I know the GoPro isn't like as cinematic as a normal camera, but I'm not over here making like a Steven Spielberg film. So if it gets the job done, it's fine. So guys, I think that's it for this week's video. I know it was kind of like a repeat of last week's, but slightly different because I was continuing with the process of getting back into class, rolling into a new class. But next week will be brand new. And then after that, go into flight prep and then flying eventually. Eventually, they're going to let us fly. I promise. So guys, thank you for tagging along with me this week, and I hope to see you next week.